Welcome to the Quick Galloper YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell. Beneath the many layers of horse racing in Jamaica lies the untold story of resilience and determination, embodied by a figure who stands out not just for her skill, but for the barriers she breaks each day. Nicole Redwood, the sole female groom at the racetrack, is a testament to the fact that excellence knows no gender. Her story is not just about grooming horses, it's a balancing act of managing the rigors of a demanding profession with the responsibilities of family life. It's a narrative of passion interwoven with duty, a daily marathon that starts before dawn and ends with the setting sun. Her journey, shared on Quick Gallop J. Hay, and through the lens of the Quick Galloper on YouTube, is more than an account of her days. It's an inspiration, a beacon for the countless women who dare to step into male-dominated arenas, challenging the status quo with every stride. This is not just a story of horse racing, it's a narrative that commands respect for those who dare to dream and work tirelessly behind the scenes. Nicole Redwood is not just a groom at Caymaners Park, she is a pioneer, a role model, and a symbol of change in the sport of kings. Speaking with female groom, Miss Nicole Redwood. Miss Redwood, good morning, how are you? Good morning, I'm okay. You are the lone female groom here at Caymaners Park. Yeah, correct. One in a million. Yes. How did that come about, Miss Redwood? Well, I come here from 2014, and I've been coming here, coming here, I am my stepsisters. And every day I come here, more of them look what they ask them and things like that. So one day now I leave down there so I come live on a train line. When I come down here, I can live. My man named Early B they run there. And usually come a track with him. And when I come a track with him, I see a lot about the ass and something, but I never intend to go around none of them. And till one morning, he called me and said, he have a work for me. So I said to him, so what kind of work that? He said, how yourself, man? Come, we are going to track. I said, all right. And he came in and he said, so I said, what is all about him? I said, you know if I can help you ass? He mm -hmm. <laughs> said, you will learn, man, you will learn. And that was? Shade of Beauty. No, no, that was when? 2018. 2018. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I catch up the ass, the man, and he look for me. You know, say nothing. I pick out the stall, and I'm looking at the stall. And I'm looking at one next room stall. I see the pan thing like this. I miss our. I say nothing. But when I'm looking at the next stall, look at my stall. One of them pick better than one. I say, oh. And that I thought about Mr. Alaf. And my boss now that is Courtney Williams. Um, come and see me the ass. Not so nothing. Just a look at me and the ass. Anyway, I did that me and the ass till we start walking to see. First time I walk here, ask to see bus, trailer, everything stop and I look. To see uh, a female leading a horse. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everybody stop and I look. Uh, people go out there and work in the JUTC bus, stop and a look. Take all pitch stop. <laughs> <laughs> that was a deal. How did that make you feel though? That made me feel proud of myself. I mm -hmm. came back and see you. I came back. And the man them started to talk say, My girl, I hate you. I hate you. Because a woman out the road now want to do this. And you not come from boat yet. And I come stick up this. I don't I born and go in St. Thomas. I don't come from St. Catherine. We are in St. Thomas. Landoy, Yalas. Moon Sinai, to be exact. So tell me something. What was the fear factor? Were you afraid when you started? No, this? I wasn't afraid. But how come? I wasn't how afraid. can you not be afraid of these what? thousand pound animals? Because I tell you, as, as me, when I come in, I usually come in here, I usually play with them head. Play with them. Play with them a lot. And if I'm afraid of them, I'm not afraid of them. 
you know the dangers though of being yes. around them. Yes. Okay. Uh, have you ever gotten any hurt? Yes, man. Um, well, <laughs> yeah. I have one ask me, Zion. Let me use the front foot. I get one kick here from a quail, and I get one finger bite from Tilafilos. But nothing serious? No. And, and that don't um, make you be any afraid of uh, them? No, I'm not like afraid that. of them. But still, you have to be careful around them. All right, so tell us about the, 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 the apprenticeship period now to you getting your room's license. How did that period go? Well, it never, it never go bad. I got um, 98 on the test. Them say, when I just come in here, they say I'm mad, they say I'm this, they say that. They say you're mad? Yeah. Why? Because you're a female in a, man, a, a man's world? No. They say, me don't know. What me I do? I can't read, I can't write. OK. Mm -hmm. But when I go do the test, and I came back the paper, and news go around, then look at me different. Start to get the respect? Yeah. So who did you get your groom's license with? Which trade? Marlon William, Marlon Anderson. 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 Hmm? And when was that? 2020. 2020. Yeah. So how has it been for you since that time? You know, life goes up, life goes down. Time gets tough, time gets hard. Sometimes it's rough, sometimes it's easy. But they still have to hang on. My first winner when I got my license was Cola Wheel. Cola Wheel? Yes. On the, on the which trainer? Marlon Anderson. Marlon Anderson. Okay. What was that feeling like? Wow. <laughs> that was the day. Where is escape, you know? <laughs> I don't know what to say. From you woke up that morning, tell me what was going through your mind. Well, nothing really more than the normal. But in time come to rest, I can't eat. You can't eat on a no. race day? When you have horses, it's racing. Yeah, I can't eat. But no, you're racing, Miss. I know you're racing, Miss. Miss Bluff, Miss Redwood. Why you can't eat? <laughs> I know you out there physically you're, racing. You're nervous. <laughs> yeah. So, how did your family feel? Well, <laughs> um, and when you won your first race? Well, when I won my first race, I don't think them even know about it because I live here and they all the way in Saint Thomas. I did not have any contact for them at the time. Some years after, I went up there and looked for them and showed them the photograph. And them said, wow, keep it up. Proud of you, my girl. How many races have you won since being a licensed uh, That was about 15 or more. 15 and winners? Or more. Or more. Or more. Okay. Do you recall some of them or all of them? Zion, Expeditious, Cola Will, Shani, Pizarro, Clear the Hours, and a few more. But Mr. Redwood, you are going with things, man. <laughs> you are going with things. Tell me the kind of respect that you get now from the male down here. Well, you know, what I say, 50-50. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 50-50. And, and you can manage? Yeah. You don't find it? Any, any no. difficulty? No. Tell me a typical day in the in the life of, of Miss Redwood. No. You get up at what time do you get up in the morning? Say five. Five? And you get here by sometime eight, sometimes seven thirty. Because mm -hmm. I have me the two a little bit to look after before I come here. Mm -hmm. You have family duties. Yes. I coming back to the family but Tell me about, so when you get here, the first thing you do, get to your... Get to your normal work. Mm -hmm. How many horses do you have now? <laughs> She's the only one? <laughs> and I help my baby father with the rest. Okay. And that takes you up until what time? Probably T say 10. Until about 10. Yeah. Then you have some time for yourself. Yeah. Then you get back here in the evening. No, I don't get back here in the evening because I told you I have family that have to deal with. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get into that because you have a, a one-year-old. Yes. How do you juggle being a mother and being a racehorse groom? <laughs> well, uh, I have a 14-year-old son, so he helped me out with him at okay. morning time. Mm -hmm. When I reach home, I send him to go to school and then me take over the evening shift. Okay, okay. So you stagger it? 
Yeah, so me take a morning shift. No, him take a morning shift for me to eat. Yeah. So you have, you have these giants, to deal with. these baby giants to deal with, to take care of in the morning <laughs> and then the little one. Yes. Uh, wow. And, and you, you, you were saying that your spouse is also a groom? Yes. Could I ask you his name? Ricardo Wallace. And he's at the same stable here? Yes. Courtney, Courtney Williams. Are you enjoying your Very dual much. role as a mother and a groom? Very much. Would you give it up for anything? Well, we come to it. Is. What, 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 what's so special about these houses that, that <laughs> I mean, you just love so? What, what, what? Birds can explain. You just have a love for them. Birds cannot explain. Which one you find easier to take care of? These giants or your little baby? I <laughs> uh, say two of them because. Alright, first thing, you put them one in one place, they're not moving up and down. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. But the little ones, you have to be behind them. Pee pee, clock, clock. How much longer do you see yourself dealing with the, the, the racing business? That depends. In real life goes. Would you encourage other ladies yes, I would. to come into racing? Yes, I would. I, lo I know this lady and she said she wanted to be an apprentice. So I tell her to come. She said no. So why? She said she had a ass. She said no. Come. And the first time I let me hear the ass head, I'm going to be beside the ass. I hand them a chamber. So I go beside her while I hand. So don't be afraid. Yeah, most of them said they're not bothered because they're afraid. Which is the biggest race you have won since you're here? Uh, when Lato, Pig Tree. With which horse? She had a beauty. Mm -hmm. And I win the Pig Tree with Cola Wheel. The best horse you would have groomed here, who do you think that is? Still Shade of, Shade of Beauty? I wouldn't pick none. You wouldn't pick none? You love all of them? Yeah. Typical mother, eh? So um, this young one that you have here now, do you expect good things from, from this horse? Yes. And you know the breeding of the horse? Yes. What is the breeding? Edge fun. Father is edge fun and his mother is empire strike back. How old is it? Two or three? Two. Two. Okay. What's the immediate ambition of Miss Nicole Redwood? What do you want to achieve out of horse racing? I want to achieve the best life for my kids and for my family as well as my baby father and his family mm -hmm. and where life takes us. So you're, you're a committed family lady as well as working with the horses? Yes. And you're hoping for something good out of it? Yes. Are you eager to see other females join you in this, in this profession? I wouldn't mind. It would be a joy to me. Come on, I'm not a competition. I'm <laughs> not a competition. Mm -hmm. I'm one of competition. I don't have none. Mm -hmm. I'm alone. One in a million. But let's see who's going to join. What, what, what kind of food does Miss Red do? Love. Mm. And Pork. <laughs> Pork. Pork. Yeah. Are you a music person? Very much. On the social side, what what you love to do? Well, I love to rewrite stories, make my own stories, and you know, sometimes go on solo and sing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love to watch television. Anything like that? Not really. I really go out on TikTok. Yeah. You're a phone person. Yeah. If you were to have a dream car, what would that be? Lamborghini. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's something you've been dreaming of? Yeah. For a long time? Yeah. Why a Lamborghini, though? <laughs> Look powerful. <laughs> what about, um, like, beach, river? Country. Wow. What do you enjoy? River. Well, me look a bit. Me and my cousin and brother they usually go river because my sister, my cousin that I next girl, 
them to go like what they call it now, two stush. So I fell on my brother them. Uh, stone. Stone war. We wanna get licking her side, get licking her head, get both head, get this, get that. Yeah. Stone war we play with the river. You have a one deep hole. So I hope so, come down here so. And I hope so I jump from spin so, you out back. So you enjoy those things? Yeah. You used to go fishing or anything like that? Yeah, but boring. Your son at 14, does he have any interest in horse racing? Sure. Because when I send him over here, I'm the ramp with the ass then. But my little son, well them. <laughs> at laugh. one? At one? Yeah, I rub the ninja. So you might have a jockey there. <laughs> All right, so in wrapping, you have enjoyed the journey so far. Yes. You're looking for bigger and better things. Yes. And you think sky is the limit. Very much. And you, 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 you have all those aspirations and hopes because you know that you have the background, you know how to groom horses. Eh? Yes. And I'm sure that you would love one of these days to be leading in a classic winner or classic winners. I hope and pray that you will achieve your objective. Thank you very much. And continue to take it to the men. Thank you. Thank you for watching another video produced by the team from quickgallopjaya.com and its YouTube channel, The Quick Galloper. Please stay on the channel for other enlightening videos on those involved in local horse racing. Please like, subscribe, and press the notification bell.